The following is an excerpt from this week's Eye Opener Report. The full report is now available for viewing by subscribers of BoilingFrogsPost.com. This report will be made available to the general public in three weeks' time. Welcome. This is James Corbett of The Corbett Report with your eye-opener report for BoilingFrogsPost.com. During the nuclear catastrophe at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan's northeast last March, the world watched in horror as conditions in the plant deteriorated by the day. Despite public reassurances that the situation was under control, we now know that three of the plant reactors actually began melting down within hours and that plans were being made at the highest level of the Japanese government to evacuate Tokyo the world's most populous metropolitan area. In effect, the world was given a crash course in cascading nuclear failure. What many do not know is that the damaged reactors were designed by General Electric, rely on 40-year-old containment technology, and are substantially similar to 32 reactors currently operating around the world, including 23 in the United States. In the 1950s, GE, in conjunction with the Idaho National Laboratory, developed a new type of light water nuclear reactor, called a boiling water reactor, or BWR. In the boiling water reactor, the reactor core is used to turn water into steam, which drives a steam turbine before being condensed back into water and fed back into the reactor core. Over the years, various designs of containment vessels have been used on the boiling water reactors. The kind used in the damaged Fukushima reactors is known as Mark I, and was developed in the 1960s as an inexpensive containment structure for plant operators. The Mark I containment system has been a focus of fierce criticism for at least 40 years. In 1972, Atomic Energy Commission safety official Stephen Hanauer recommended that the Mark I design be discontinued, arguing that the small containment design left it vulnerable to explosions from hydrogen buildup. At the time, soon-to-be chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission Joseph Hendry said acceptance of the Mark I technology was so widespread that reversal of this hallowed policy, particularly at this time, could well be the end of nuclear power. In 1976, three GE engineers, Gregory C. Minor, Richard B. Hubbard, and Dale G. Breidenbaugh, resigned from their engineering jobs at GE's Nuclear Energy Division, citing design flaws in the Mark I that they had been asked to review. Partly as a result of this criticism, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission issued guidelines in 1980 for upgrading the Mark I design. More changes to the reactors were advised in the late 1990s. When asked if the changes addressed the design issues, Breidenbaugh, one of the so-called GE3 who resigned over the plans, admitted that the Mark I is still a little more susceptible to an accident that would result in a loss of containment. Still, in 1986, then-top safety official at the NRC, Harold Denton, estimated a 90% probability that the Mark I containment would fail in the event of a core meltdown, as has taken place at three of the reactors at Fukushima Daiichi. You have been watching an excerpt of this week's Eye Opener Report. To continue watching the report, please log into BoilingFrogsPost.com.